first two heats competed over here, and I think this is where we'll be for the for the remainder of this round, at least as the tide starts coming in. This is a, a cracker matchup on paper. Jacob Wilcox, he got a fifth up at snapper. Great start to his year. He's, he's the only surfer left in the event who can bank two bracket results. Mm. So that'd be huge coming out of Australia. It would be massive as he looks to get his uh, contest underway this morning here, Luke. Yeah, just that distinctive whiplash approach to Jacob's style. It's, uh, it's a little bit different than some of the other servers on the backhand. Draws out a deep bottom hand turn. And uh, as you well know, Stacey, he's put a lot of time into honing his backhand attack. Nice and vertical with that finishing manoeuvre. Morning, Stacey, as we came in, as we see, straight into it. One of the bigger waves in the morning, Taj Limblad. Yeah, I've got to correct myself there. I've been absolutely in awe of the alley, uh, car park rights all week. But the score, a 7-3-3. That is an amazing way to start the heat. And uh, Jacob will be pretty impressed with that as he looks to exercise his priority here on another scoring ride. If he can get two completed rides here this early in the heat, which he does, he'd be pretty happy with that. As uh, he looks to put some pressure on the young Californian Taj. And uh, this ride here, Luke. Yeah, a much smaller way, but you can see the, the plan for Jacob. Love the finishing turn, but it's a solid response. And looks like just an in and out here for Jacob Wilcox. Yeah, whips it off the top and pearls. So that's the maybe the first left-hander I think we've seen of the morning. And we'll catch up on this ride that was in the interview, Luke. Yeah, Taj Jimblad blasts out of the first turn, wraps back into the pocket, eyeing off this section down the line. Nice carve, a little bit of tail release, and... Couldn't really string together any scores in that heat, and sometimes heats just go that way. As we see a split peak that will catch you up on in that interview, and then Jacob Wilcox here. This will be his fourth ride. There's a 383 on his ride before, a 733 before that. And if you're looking to uh, extend his lead there, but Tarsh Lindblad's well and truly in this heat now with it with a nice ride in that interview. Here's Jacob's ride again. Way face is a little bit flatter, has a really good rhythm throughout it. Uh, doesn't have the opportunity to offer that much variety, but it's just really good solid surfing, and he may inch ahead of that backup score. Yeah, definitely, and uh, nice to see the guys splitting the peak. Taj Limblad here, great looking wave, good first turn up in the lip. Beautiful second carve, young man there showing his power. Another nice turn in the lip there as this wave just keeps on giving him opportunities down the line and a nice finish. We'll see how the judges break that ride down, Luke. Yeah, here it is from a different angle. Deep bottom turn, swings it off, gets a little hung up, but it's solid. Wraps back into the pocket, and this wave just keeps giving down the line. Right up in the top shelf of the wave there again, and gets the completion. It's the money turn. And it looks like an incomplete air here from, uh, from Jacob Luke. Yeah, looking to take part in the Ali Wrights air show. We've seen a little bit of that this morning. Unfortunately, Aitan Osborne didn't quite. Definitely a lot of deliberation at the moment. We haven't seen any indication of those scores as Jacob looks to keep building in his heat. I, I would say he needs a score to get the lead back on, on the live. So we have a couple of nice turns there from Jacob. And the finish. Certainly looking uh, locked in and, and ready to roll this morning. As we see this... Opening section, nice whip out of the top, drifts the fingers through the bottom turn, but then it's straight into cutback country. And unfortunately, uh, that won't score. It's a solid finish, but... As we have Jacob Wilcox having a look at this ride here. Again, he's, he's surfing it. He's surfing on the waves. is looking really sharp. It's just the waves that he's been on the, since the 733 haven't really offered him a whole lot of steep face to work with. This one gives him a nice finish here. As the Surfing Australia crew let go of a few whistles at the end of that ride, and rightly so. He's looking sharp on his board. See the front foot slip forward, and you can see the distinctive difference between the two waves. Totally. I mean, Jacob probably has the sharper start. Taj definitely with the better finish. And uh, again, great surfing. No downtime in between his turns. It's, uh... it's not immediately apparent as to whether or not the score is there or not on the wave, mm. but he's got to go because maybe he will get a really good section. And then it will be like a point better, which is all he needs. Taj Lingbad here on a good looking ride. A little bit more lateral in the opening there. He'll be looking for something big down the end. There it is. 
Wow. There's so much going on on that ride. Uh, after the first turn, I really believed he should have kicked out of that wave to retain priority. <laughs> However, with the execution of that last manoeuvre. Yeah, so as you suggested, first turn, just a check turn. Second turn, car back to the pocket. Realises he needs something solid off the end. A lot of speed, tail high. Wow. As we see Jacob Wilcox here making a concerted effort to get across to this wave with first priority. It's going to be a great challenge for Jacob to see if he can execute on this wave. He's going to go up and riding now, needing a 7-8-4. Beautiful first turn. Comes off the bottom and another. There it is, a great sequence of events. And again. Wowee. <laughs> you don't often see a lot of emotion out of Jacob. You don't need to do a backflip, but surfing like this certainly helps. Yeah, the first turn's a little bit more of a setup. Now he really gets moving. Really rotating hard out of the top section of the wave. And once again, the final turn is a strong finish. <laughs> Into the slow-mo. Throwing a lot of spray with these maneuvers. The judges won't necessarily score the spray, but they do like to see it. It suggests that you are using power. Nice and vertical with the final snap. This wave was just a little bit bigger. It offered a little bit more. And it was the one that he was really looking for. It was a fantastic exchange with Taj Limblad behind Luke. Yeah, wraps back into the pocket. Straight up into the lid. Throws the tail, little 180. You can see how far that front foot slips forward. So the question is going to be for Jacob. How much faith does he put in Taj's ability to convert a small wave to nothing? Well, obviously quite a lot because this is... He's taken off on this one. So he's got to surf this one over, in my opinion. Doesn't look like a very fantastic ride with a lot of water on the face. He's looking a better at 733. I tell you what, he's certainly gone on his best effort to try and do that there. It's, uh, it's a pretty fortunate position that Jacob's in at the moment, seeing that his lowest score is uh, something that he could look to better. Yeah, I, I probably would have to sit on the other side of the fence there, there Luke. I do not see eight and a half points in this wave any day of the week. So uh, if Jacob doesn't improve, I would say it just gives Taj a little look in in these last few minutes. 15 seconds on the clock. Taj Limblad up and riding. This will be the last throw of the dice. Oh, I have to go and for it. Had to go for it. And unfortunately, unable to put the landing gear down on that one. Jacob Wilcox advancing through to the quarterfinals. And you make a great point there, Luke. The only surfer across two events to uh, get himself at this point in the event. For the start of the season. That's right. Two bracket finishes and uh, made the quarters on the Gold Coast. Into the quarters now, but he wants to go far beyond that for sure. Yeah, definitely. Once you get to this point, and particularly after a heat like that, he'd have one thing on his mind now.